So welcome to our mini class, our lunch hour yoga or whatever, whatever time you do it in, in your own life. So today we're going to be seated and lying down for the practice. So you can um, be seated in a chair or on the ground, whatever is comfortable for you. So get yourself comfy and I'll see you there. <clears throat> So if you're comfortable sitting cross-legged as I am, great. If not, stretch your legs out in front of you, be on a chair. The main thing is not how you're sitting, but that you're comfortable sitting and that your spine has the ability to be upright and free. So you're not kind of slumped back against a chair, ideally, or against anything. So coming to your seated position. So this week we're focusing on the breath. Last week we were using the body and the sensations in the body to help us bring more awareness to what's going on with us, but also to increase our feeling or sense of mindfulness. So when we're focusing on the body, we're always focusing on the present moment since our body only lives in the present moment. The exact same thing is true for the breath. When we focus on the breath, we're always in the present moment, watching the breath that's happening now. We're going to be working with the breath today in a way that we're really paying attention to the breath and maybe manipulating it a little bit, but that part of it is totally optional. So you can do this whole thing, just being aware of your breath without manipulating it at all. And the main thing is that you're always comfortable. So you're never feeling a strain with your breath. Straining with the breath creates a feeling of anxiety, which is counter to what we want. So the inhale is where the body expands. The lungs are in the upper chest, right? And that's where it mostly expands, but we can also feel movement in the belly as well. And even in the back of the body. So as we start today, I invite you to tune in and simply notice your breath as it is. So if you like, you can close your eyes if that's helpful. You're just tuning into the rhythm of your own breath. Let it be as natural as possible. Often when we tune into the breath, we change it a bit and that's fine. Don't fight with yourself. Just allow the breath to be as natural as possible. So let's start by paying attention to the front of the body primarily. So sort of from the shoulders, down to the hips. It's possible to feel breath in any part of this area or all parts of this area. Or it's even possible to feel not much or no movement at all. Depending on your pattern of breathing. And so there's no right or wrong answer here. There's no judgment required. There's no change required even. Simply notice what are you aware of in the front of your body as you breathe, where do you feel movement? Where do you not feel movement? And then let's shift the attention to the back of the body. And we'll just touch on these areas briefly. We won't dwell too long here. You can always repeat this exercise later if you wanna spend more time. So it's tuning into the back of your body from the shoulders to the hips. Noticing any movement at all. Again, you may not feel any movement. You may feel very little. You might feel lots of movement. So notice what's true for you and welcome all that arises. And I invite you to tune into the sides of your body from your armpits to your hips and notice any experience or feeling of movement with your breath in that area of your body. And again, you may not, and that's perfectly legitimate. Notice, I don't feel anything. So 
You might be aware of movement other places than the sides of your body, but tuning in there, a couple more breaths. <clears throat> right. And then we're going to add some movement. So the movement is designed to create space. The concepts in Sanskrit, the words are sukha and dukkha. Dukkha means to be constricted and it's often related to stress, tension, right? To feel squeezed, like your back's against a wall. I think we mostly probably all know that feeling at some point or other. And then sukha means expansion, expanded space. And that's the feeling we're looking for through our yoga practice for the most part is to feel a sense of expansion, ease um, in our bodies. And the breath helps us, can help us to feel that way. So this movement is an extension. So an arch of the back and a rounding of the back. Sometimes it's called cat cow, especially when it's done on all fours as the rounded position kind of looks like a cat stretching its back. So try this movement, it's nice and gentle with your body. <clears throat> feeling how your spine feels and then you can start to coordinate the movement with your breath so in general we're going to inhale as we lift and expand or arch the back extend the spine exhale as we round or flex the spine Coordinating with the breath feels like the wrong pace for you. You can just do the movement and breathe normally. And that's always, always an option. Okay. And let's come back to, to neutral and we're going to vary the breath a little bit. So now if you're coordinating the breath and you wanna to go to the next step, you can only move on your exhalation. So what you would do is Exhale and move into the rounded position and stay there and breathe in. And then as you're exhaling, lift up into the arched position. Stay there and breathe in. Exhale and move. Normally we're breathing through the nose, inhale and out. Inhale here. Exhale to move. Sometimes if you feel a lot of stuck energy, Exhaling through the mouth can help. So inhale here. Exhale and move. Inhale here. Exhale and move. We'll do one more. Inhale in the extended position. Exhale rounding. Inhale in the rounded position. And then we'll just exhale and return back to neutral. And just to release any tension, let's do a few circles with the torso. You might start to feel the sides of your waist getting a little stretch here and maybe into the hips and lower back. And then try the other direction as well. So our themes layer on top of one another. So just because we're focusing on the breath today doesn't mean we let go of the focus on the body sensations. We can stay with the body sensations and then add in that other layer of the breath. So you're noticing what you feel as you move. Okay, let's come back to the center. And anytime, if you wanna stretch your legs out and give them a shake or wake them up if they fall asleep, please, please do that. Um, we'll stay seated for a little bit longer. So now if you're on the ground, you can bring your fingertips um, to the ground. If you're on a chair, you might bring your hand to the chair to support you. Um, and if you're on a chair, you might want to um, bring your feet a little bit wider. Same as if you're sitting on a yoga ball or something like that so that you're um, well balanced. So if you're on the ground, fingertips down, I'll, I'll talk that way so that um, it mirrors what I'm doing. And you're gonna lift one arm up, breathing in and then walk the hand away and reach up a little as you come over and then come back up, release. Other side, reaching up, you can breathe in, come to the side, lift up and release. So I'll talk you through the breathing, inhale up, exhale to the side, 
Inhale back up. Exhale, release. If you don't want to coordinate the breath, if that's not comfortable for you, just as always, breathe and move freely. Exhale to the side if you're coordinating. Inhale up, exhale down. We'll do one more to each side. Make sure the lower shoulder stays relaxed. So you really want to make sure you're bending the arm so you don't jam the shoulder up into your ear. Right, so now we're going to come back to the center and we'll bring a little bit more awareness by staying to the side a little bit longer. Again, if it's not comfortable, just come out anytime. So you're inhaling up. Think about lifting up as you go to the side. You can walk the hand away, maybe bend the elbow. And then as you breathe here, imagine the breath in your armpit, the side of your rib cage, the side of your waist and down into your hip. Imagine you have one lung and it's only expanding that side. Right. When you're ready, come up to the center. We'll pause in the center, maybe even close your eyes for a moment if they're open. That's always optional. And notice how one side feels compared to the other. So I can share that my right side, the side that I've stretched feels much taller and longer. The other side feels a little collapsed. And that may be similar or completely different for you. There's absolutely no right or wrong. Let's go to the other side, so fingertips down, reaching up, breathing in, exhale to the side, try not to twist forward or back. You can use the hand on the ground to help lengthen as you breathe into that long side. Hmm. Again, if it's uncomfortable, come back a little bit or out of the pose altogether. Breathing from your armpit to your hip, one or two more breaths. And then we're gonna come all the way up and release. Let's come back to that cat-cow movement. Inhale, arching. Exhale, rounding. Great. So again, coming back to a neutral spine. And if you found that your legs have fallen asleep or they're uncomfortable at all, give them a stretch out, give them a little shake. <clears throat> and we'll come to lie down. So as you come to lie down, knees are bent, feet flat on the floor. You can bring your hands onto your body and just let your breath settle for a moment and tune in to the movement of your breath. So with your hands here, it gives you a little bit more feedback. So noticing which hand moves first. Do both hands move or just one? Or maybe you don't feel much at all. So just tuning in. Notice where your attention is and if it wanders, see if you can gently nudge it back to the breath as a way of keeping your attention on the present moment. It's not bad or wrong to wander off. It's very, very normal. And the practice is in noticing and bringing your attention back. The practice isn't in always being focused, but noticing when we get unfocused and bringing our attention back. A few more breaths here. And then we'll take the hands and bring them down to the floor beside your hips. And there's a, a natural way that the body moves with the breath. It's very subtle, but there's a natural kind of arching with the inhale, a natural coming back to neutral or even rounding with the exhale. And we're going to exaggerate that with the movement of the arms now. 
So as you breathe in, you'll lift your arms up overhead. You can bend them or leave them straight. They may or may not come to the ground, the honoring of your shoulders. And then as you exhale, arms come down. Now, if your breath is slower or faster than mine, you may need to move at a different pace. But you're inhaling arms up and you'll probably notice the back arching and then coming back to neutral as you exhale and bring the arms down. So just let that happen naturally. And then if you want to, you can add on to this movement by bringing the knees together and the ankles together. And then as you lift your arms, you're also opening the knees apart, soles of the feet coming towards each other. And then knees come back together, arms come down. So notice how your back changes shape with these movements. And allow it to be free as you move your arms and legs, let your spine be free to move in whatever way is natural. Right, one more here. as your arms come down and your knees come together and stay there and we're going to separate the feet about six inches apart so they're about the distance of your sit bones <clears throat> and your feet now can line up underneath your knees more or less they could be a little closer a little further as is comfortable for you and arms coming a little bit away from the body and again if comfortable palms toward the ceiling and that it gives a little external rotation to the shoulders. It keeps them relaxed as we do this next movement, which is called bridge pose. So we're going to start with just some breath awareness. And here with your exhale, gently press your feet down until you feel your lower back move into the ground. And then as you inhale, <clears throat> just letting the back relax. So it'll come into its natural arch position. Exhale and press down. So it's a similar movement to what we were just doing, but a little more subtle now. Inhale, little arch. Exhale, press into your feet, draw the lower back down. A few more rounds here, as long as it's comfortable, you can make the movement more or less exaggerated depending on how it feels for you. And then if you want to go further with this movement, after your next exhale, instead of staying on the ground and inhaling, you can start to lift the hips. And we're going to take several breaths here as we slowly peel the spine up off the ground. You're just breathing normally. Come up to a comfortable height. Let the work be in your legs. So it's like your legs are holding up your body and your body is just kind of relaxing here, hanging off your legs. So your legs are working, the rest of the body relaxed. Face, jaw, neck, soft, breath, easeful. Nothing in particular with your breath here, you're just breathing. And then for the last few breaths, if you're feeling strong and you want a little bit more, you can draw the arms down to your sides, press the palms down, and use that to help lift your spine just a little more into a bridge. Or stay in that really relaxed bridge if you like, or you can always come down anytime. And if you're still up in the pose, you can slowly, and again, take several breaths to release the vertebrae slowly, one by one, into the ground. Hmm. When you get there, pause for a moment. Then you can bring your knees into your chest. And you can do this either anyway, but I like to have my hands so that my fingers are pointing at my toes. So then when I straighten my legs, my fingers kind of hook over my knees. 
and then I just bend the elbows to bring them in. But whatever position works for you, we'll move the knees forward and back. And you can have your knees together or if it's more comfortable, knees apart. Your movement might just be a few inches forward and back. It really depends on how tight your hips are, how much flesh is in between. So wherever you are, it's moving in a way that feels supportive to you. And then you can eventually start to vary the movement. So you'll be rocking side to side, maybe making little circles with your knees. Any movements that feel good. Okay, eventually give your knees a nice squeeze. Again, knees together or apart, whatever is comfortable for you. And then we'll bring the feet and rest them back on the floor. Again, about hip distance apart. And then from here, sliding the arms out to the sides. <clears throat> and you want to feel a little bit of stretch in your upper arms, chest or shoulders, a little bit of sensation, but nothing at all intense. So you should be able to keep your hands, arms, your elbows, shoulders on the ground in this position. And then I invite you to tune into your breath again. You can move the arms up or down to find the sensation that feels best for you with your breath. And then we're going to work with the gentle twist. And I'm going to give you three different options for the breath. So the first option is breathe freely and just let the legs go side to side in whatever speed and whatever pattern feels good for you. So that's one absolutely free breathing. The second one is the, the normal breath that we do here, which is exhale as you go to the side, inhale as you come to the center, exhale to the other side, inhale to center. And so you can follow that breath pattern if you like, or free breathing. And if you feel comfortable with those and feel like a little bit more focus on the breath might be interesting and useful for you, you can try only moving on your exhale. So you exhale to the side. We did something like this earlier with the cat cow. Inhale here. Exhale back to center. Inhale here, exhale to the side, inhale here, exhale to the center, inhale here. So continue a few more rounds, any of those three breath patterns, free breath, exhale to the side, inhale to center, or only moving when you're exhaling breathing in when you're stationary. You're also welcome if you like to stay for a few breaths on each side. You're also, of course, welcome to keep moving or come back to center anytime it feels like you've done enough twisting. And then when you do eventually come back to the center, you can slide the arms down. Bring the knees back in toward the chest. So we really want to give the back a nice stretch and release after the twist. So you can repeat the forward and back movement if you like that. You can repeat a side to side movement or that wiggling, moving the legs around, circling. So any movement here that feels good, that massages your lower back. And brings it back to a feeling of lengthening and release. And then you can stretch the legs up, maybe leave a little bend in your knees so that it's really easy and your stomach muscles don't have to work too hard. Reach the arms up, circle the wrists and the ankles. 
you can go one way and the other or any which way feels good. Okay, give everything a little shake. Right, and the knees into your chest. You can release your feet. And we'll spend a couple of minutes just breathing and integrating the practice. So you can do this lying down with your knees bent. You can do it lying down with your legs straight. Or if you like, you can roll to one side and come to sit for the end. So whichever works for you is great. I'm going to sit, but feel free to stay lying down if that is where you want to be. Feel free to close your eyes here. If you want to keep them open, that's absolutely fine. So now I invite you to simply tune into the movement of your breath wherever it naturally is in your body. There's no right or wrong. Let it flow wherever you're aware of it. Of course, our breath is only literally happening in our lungs, which is in the chest area. But when we let the body be still and quiet, sometimes we can feel the ripple effect of the breath into other parts of the body. Just like when a pool of water is very still and calm and we drop a pebble into the center, those ripples go all the way to the edges of the pond. When our body is still and quiet, we can sometimes feel that ripple effect of the breath through the body. So notice the breath as it is. Maybe imagine or feel that ripple effect to your fingers and toes, to the top of your head, throughout your whole body. Almost like your whole body is breathing in through the pores, your whole body breathing out through your pores. You're more than welcome to stay in this lying down or seated position and spend a few more minutes integrating practice, working with the breath and feeling and being. And if you're ready to move on with your day, you can start to breathe maybe a little more deeply, bringing some energy into your fingers and toes, just waking yourself up gently. And taking a moment wherever you are to thank yourself, to bring gratitude for your getting to the mat today, this gift to yourself, from yourself. Namaste.